Hello guys, welcome to another tutorial Flutter beginner series and uh, today I'm going to talk about this app that generates a random number and uh, and uh, you know like it's just like a short kind of dice game that uh, we can play with okay so if I click on it this generates a random number and I have done the functionality that I click one time and and both of the dice is change right but if if it's up to you you can change the change the functionality that when you click one dice then it should only change one like one one dice so anyways without a further ado let's get right into building this app and we would need some assets for this so the assets are going to be in this folder where we have dice one dice two dice three these images but this is interesting here this is I will tell you ahead time that this is a stateful app right because this app has a state now un up until this point we have some images and we have loaded them and it is displaying it we the app remains the same the the image widgets are going to remain at the same place so there is no state change but once we click it changes the image that means it changes the state of the app right so we need a state full widget because our app has a state now so this is something interesting small baby step towards learning something about the states and uh, yeah so what I'll do is I'll just uh, I'll just create a new project because this is my old project so I don't want to get into this and we'll just say flutter project and I'll say uh, we can name this random dice and we'll just finish you can feel free to leave the information here like as it is and cool part is that these apps can be run both on Android and iOS so first of all we'll be met with the we'll be met with the boilerplate code and we can quickly maybe take care of this by deleting it and uh, yeah let's just delete all of it and we can say material app and if you want to use the new syntax arrow syntax then let's just get rid of these curly braces and here we will return I Yes, if I'm not wrong, uh, we will just form a scaffold, and we can thus. Yes, we. So yeah, we have the scaffold, and I will also run this app because we need uh, an app bar in this one because then we can just define that app bar here and app bar and this is a widget and app bar would have a title so guys you see like you know our app has launched and I've given the title to our app bar and if I uh, restart the like app uh, we should see some kind of app bar in here with the title random dice okay and uh, to maybe hot restart I guess not hot reload and uh, okay we have got it so if you want the title to be in the center then maybe wrap with the center but oh no sorry yeah this can be I guess in the center so I just press control F but in iPhone, I think this is going to be center by default. So maybe let's not mess with it for now. And uh, just excuse me, guys. I'm getting like a call. 
okay maybe i want to try bringing it into the center like why it didn't work but okay so title so guys this I don't know for now but shouldn't be so hard or we can look it up right now on Google how to center text in app bar flutter. Okay, we just see. Yeah, so center title it's true, but for some reason it didn't give me that liberty. Okay, yeah, this is what I was missing. So I was missing a comma that is why I guess it was not being detected okay yeah so it's here anyway but yeah that's not the point but also for the body we would need a dice page so we can just create this widget and here as I told you it is going to have a state so we will get a stateful widget and uh, we can just delete this so dice page okay and uh, what else have we got okay so this is our uh, okay this is the error I'm getting function the dice page is yeah I named it the wrong way so we just have to change the name here and uh, change it here to let's just create it again state full dice page okay yep so we have this container okay and the body is itself the container that we are returning and other than that we are we are going to need another folder where we are going to place our uh, what do you call that assets and if you want you can get rid of this get rid of this uh, boilerplate code and we are going to access all the assets that the image one two one two i guess this will work and i will go to the show in explorer and i'm going to place all my previous assets that I had okay the wrong folder of dice randomized and assets and I had these assets so I will just place them in my new assets okay they are here yeah so our assets are ready and uh, so let's see if the indentation is correct while linking these and yeah indentation is not correct so one two okay so maybe yeah we need to remove this and yep so indentation is correct so our assets are linked already and now what have we got we need a row and 
because we are we are displaying our our uh, two dices side by side and we are going to use an expanded widget class so it spreads child image asset so what have we got we have the asset and we have dice one or png if i refresh the like read uh, sorry restart the app or reload the app it should i think should show us something and uh, maybe rerun the app so hopefully this will show us an image here at the center okay yeah so this is taking the full space because we have used expanded but if we use it one more time with the dice two so you will see that okay these two images fit in there okay and to give it some padding we can just go in here size box there are various way to do with it but I'm just going to stick with this and we need a comma here so you see here that okay these are being given and some padding here wrap with padding you can feel free to control this number okay yeah that's perfect so we have our images already being displayed and now once I click on it nothing happens right so how do we use this so to use this like there are several kind of like buttons raised button and stuff like that but we are going to use flat button because we don't want to display our widget uh, our button we just want to display our widget okay so this image is going to come under flat button and uh, this needs a comma and uh, this child would get a text what is the issue here yep okay so we are going to bring it down a little bit and yeah it is giving an error because it needs some mandatory method which is on pressed because it's a button so we need something to press on to and if I test it now, left dice pressed, and I put a semicolon here, and I hot reload. So if I click this, left dice pressed, right? So this on press is working. And you see, once I put it in flat button, it compresses more because it has the flat button also has the padding of its own. So instead of this, we'll just change it to maybe five. So it does not uh, look so small. Okay, that's better. Okay, now we have this. So now, now here's the real stuff, right? We have displayed everything. I hope my laptop does not die before this. So we have displayed everything here. Now, what do we need? We need to like press and change the state of the app so first of all i'm going to take this and actually remove this and just copy this here expand it okay and now what do we need we will create a method void on click maybe and i'll say args like just an argument and set state so we are going to create two variables in left dice is starting from one in right dice starting from one and here we just change the value but how do we get that random number so we are going to use this library from 
from dart and this is what it's gonna do for us is set state int random sorry this is going to be uh, var random new random so okay and what have we got we will okay so we will just uh, left dice is going to have random dot next so we need we have number till six and this plus one is it starts from one so this is one is the minimum value and write dice random dot next integer six also and now what we have to do simply dice left dice string interpolation right dice and if I run my app now it should it's starting from one we click on one oh I forgot to call the method in here so we'll just remove this and what is our method on click so on click we'll just put in here so this is being used over and over again that is why we did not create the on state method in here and we will pass uh, on click uh, on click okay yeah, there is no argument in here yeah no need it okay on clicked on clicked and now we refresh it so we click okay see the number is changing so this is our dice app guys and I think it's pretty straightforward nothing much hard about it and I hope you like this tutorial uh, if you have questions just uh, subscribe and like comment down the video and I'll just go through quickly before the laptop dies okay we create two integers we create a method that sets the state that controls the state and this is the math package that we imported and this is the maximum value and this is the minimum value and we just update these variables and we pass these variables as a placeholder and if you look at the assets they have the integer so we just put the string dice and then we put the number and as soon as like whatever the value is whenever we press it because when we press it we call on this on click method it changes so you have this cool dice app okay so lovely talking to you guys and i will see you in the next tutorial sometime next week until then subscribe and take care